Hey guys, welcome back to Care DIY What. Today we are going over a clock that I made using Dollar Tree items. Um, this tutorial should be super fun and super easy and super quick because it wasn't a lot involved. I got all of the items from Dollar Tree minus the hand clock mechanism that you'll see, whatever. You'll see it and you'll know what I'm talking about. All of the items will be listed down below and where you can find them. And um, yeah, so this tutorial should be should take literally no more than 15 minutes to do and it'll look good everywhere in your house. So don't worry about that. And just remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below and let me know what you think of the clock. Otherwise, let's DIY. So once you've cut around the charger, you just want to place it on top of the charger and make sure that it's as flat as it can be. You'll see that once I lay it down, I'm going around the edges and tightening it so there are no air bubbles. You'll have to do that a couple of times just to get it nice and flat and even so all the surfaces look you know, symmetrical and flat. I use my Cricut Maker to make the numbers for around the clock. You can easily use any stickers from any craft store or the dollar store to go around the clock. It doesn't have to be Roman numerals, it could be regular numbers. It just has to be the size that'll fit perfectly around the clock. Okay, so I have no idea why it looked like this after it came out. It was terrible, but I'll show you more later. So I realized mid project that the clock mechanism that I got in the beginning did not work very well with the size of the hole and the thickness of the charger. So I ran out and got a different one and you see the one that I use now. 
All right, now on the back of the box of the mechanism, it will show you how to put the hands of the clock on so that one, they don't overlap too badly to where they don't move and to where they are perfectly fitting. Um, just an FYI, the hands were very flimsy, so you wanna be careful that you don't bend, it, bend them too badly as you're putting it on the face of the clock. Okay, so I went back and fixed the numbers around the clock. I moved them in more so that they were closer to the hands of the clock since the hands of the clock were a little bit smaller. So this is the finished look and I was very happy with moving the numbers in more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you do like what you saw, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you're notified and you don't miss any of my videos that I upload. Make sure you also comment down below. Make sure you also don't listen to my baby. I don't know why she's screaming, but nonetheless, make sure you <laughs> share the video and we'll see you next week. Also, if you like what you saw down below, I'm showing you a video that has a similar tutorial that you can do. So click this video and we'll see you next week.